playing with the, uh, with the with the pieces. He had like I had enough of this minus four matchup. Time to upgrade to you know a slight get, advantage. Get some, minor pieces, <laughs> get some minor pieces too. All right, so I wonder what matchup we're gonna have here. Shine. Yeah, here. multi character specialist, kind of Swiss Army knife of characters right. at this disposal. Um, last time I talked to him a couple weeks ago, he did say uh, his Lucas is still his strongest character. Uh -huh. But it looks like we're gonna go Krom here versus the Zeros. I've seen, yeah, I've seen Shine all over the place. I mean, I, I saw him go Bowser. I saw him go, when I was like a Bowser Jr. at one point, like wow. all over the place. That so. is definitely all over yeah. the place. Oh, and, and, and PL, the Zero Suit. Um, I actually called one of his sets. Uh, I think he played at one of the Wednesday night fights against Wadi's, Wadi's, uh, not Rob, uh, Wadi was going uh, Rosalina Luma at that at the time. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wadi's Rose is really good. Yeah, the, uh, the doubles tournament winner, at least. Uh, uh, I think he actually won that tournament too, didn't he? Go all the way through with the. Uh, oh no, he might have. Was Leo out there? I don't know. But anyway, back to the match. We got them opening up right now and playing pretty even. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a little tough for PL. Krom, definitely a character that can be a beautiful Nair one into the F Smash from Shine. But yeah, Krom is definitely a character where uh, you can be very oppressive air to air. He's got the disjoint, he's got very quick aerials, and a even if you do decide to shield. You kind of don't want to be shielding Krom's aerials. Right. Just crosses you, crosses you up all over the place, and it can be very hard to deal with. Yeah, there's any, if there's one character weakness on Zero Suit for sure, it's that preemptive rising aerial really stuffs some of her setup game because she's really predicated on getting up, short hopping, and then throwing out a neutral air. It's going to be interesting to see if PL, PL is able to you know throw out some preemptive forward airs to stuff it, or if it's just going to be you know the Krom show throwing out that sword in that situation over and over. Yeah, like you said, there's definitely a character that thrives off of falling aerials, but if you got Krom, he usually wants to rise up with these aerials, and they're really, really quick. So just going to snuff out any air-to-air, -air, but the Paralyzer to the boost kick going to seal out that first stock there for PL. Yeah, trying to keep himself in the game still. Oh, that's a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I mean, he's at 92, but definitely not out of the woods just yet. Oh, we got the combo starter with the side beat. Yeah, it's interesting. It didn't even hit with the, you know, usually the grabbing box. It was kind of the... Like, oh, oh, uh oh, here we go. Oh, oh, dang. I, I felt like he could have kept um, down smashing or just like maybe follow up from the down smash. I know that, that was kind of like an awkward position. Or maybe even just gone down with the down air and just tried to cancel up those stocks to tie it up. Yeah, true. He, he definitely was down. So I, I, I feel like that would have been worth. Yeah. But, I mean, very hard to think on your toes when uh, something that quick is going on. And right now, Shine going to close up the stock. But 73% PL was able to rack up. Not too bad. Yeah, he's definitely kept himself, you know, in the game, especially being so far down before. Let's see if Shine is able to kind of, you know, answer back and keep the momentum on his side and rack up some lead in this last stock. Oh, a little trouble. Down. No punish from Shine, though. wasn't quick enough. Oh, and there, yeah. It, at that lower percent, it's just, it's really good to just jump into that move because it's pretty much negative one hit at that point. Yeah. Oh, man, Shine is racking up quite a bit of percentage and is going to survive the boost kick. Uh, air dodge that out of the last hit of the up B. Yeah, that was super really high up. And now it's scary because Shine's got the rage. Uh, Krom hits very strong, a very solid read, or a trump at the edge will do the trick to stock here for Shine. Yeah, very clean, very methodical play coming out from Shine. Just uh, another day in the office, punch in, punch out. Yep, yep. Take the stocks, you know, just trade in at his desk, and you know, let's see what sort of changes PL is able to make. I, I think if you're if you're PL, the one positive that you can take away from the match was. You were down by so much, but you were able to battle yourself back into within yeah. striking distance into that second stock. And maybe if he's able to tap in, find you know stock two PL instead of uh, stock three PL, we right, might be right. we might be looking at a pretty good game too. But might be switching up to Daisy. Okay, definitely. Uh, in my opinion, de I mean, for most people, they put Peach Daisy in their top three, top yeah. five. In my opinion, I think they're the best characters in the game. Uh -huh. um, just really, really good. Uh, just. The ultimate game mechanics really favor the playstyle, and so many things I've left about this character. So let's see what PL can bring to the table with the uh, with the Daisy. Yeah, but despite being the the best character, I do know that as far as matchups go, some of the uh, Peach Daisy players they are not fans of playing against the Sorties just because of the right, you know the, the aerial range and disjoint. Oh, oh no. speaking of disjoint, you can no. tell they got the umbrella disjoint, but not enough to grab the ledge. <laughs> so. Yeah, unfortunate SD there coming out from PL. Oh, the counter. And I wonder if just maybe it's a pilot type issue because I know PL has played a lot of uh, Zero Suit Samus. Um, sometimes you want, you know, 
it looks good on paper to go a secondary, but as soon as right. you get into the fire and thick of it, you're SD and it's a little bit of a uh, little bit of trouble, especially. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, even if your uh, secondary is proficient in friendlies, sometimes you gotta, you know, di dip the dip the pockets <laughs> in the water, you know. And it, it can be rough, especially when the pressure's on, like in a tournament match. A lot of people aren't used to like being in that situation with their pockets. Yeah, it just looks like Sheena Ooh. has the answers to everything, like on cue, forward smash. And Piel is looking at a possible three stock here in the last game. Oh, wow, the backer on to stage. They're not going to quite do it. The prom side. No, wow, Shine actually backs off. That's interesting, because he had him right there, I'm pretty sure. I, I, yeah, I feel like he was dead, but I, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe Shine didn't want to do him like that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. That would have been the exclamation point on game two that he wanted, I'm sure. Oh, here, um, but he went for it there, so you know he's not. He's the. Uh, he's like, I gave you one for free. I'm gonna go for the second one. Everybody gets one. <laughs> okay, another forward smash, but not gonna be it. So so close though. PL can't, trying to get back to this ledge, the ledge trap. Yeah, let's see if we can get the wheels turning. Maybe get a one of those big damage, daisy combos. But it's it just kind of looks like. PL's at a loss really to how to deal with the sword. Krom's just range is just too too much for him to handle. Yeah, and right there, the back air should close it out there. Shine doing a really good job with that suffocating pressure that Krom can be. And yeah, just really, really tough for PL to deal with. Right, for sure. But he'll be back, you know. It's uh it's still early game, just gotta